What a weekend of football I have in store. I've got two big games on Saturday and Sunday, but today's Friday and of course I am in Greenock, as you can see there behind me, the famous crane that you can see from inside Capelow Park, the home of Greenock Morton. There she is, look at that. That is one of the main reasons that Capelow is actually one of my favorite stadiums in this country. Tomorrow, I'm hopefully seeing East Kilbride win the Lowland League, my fourth attempt at creating that video, and Sunday I've got a long drive up to Dingwall. Um, but today, yeah, Morton and Dundee United. Big game for Morton, who are pushing for the playoffs in the championship, as you can see, and then for Dundee United as well. If they win today, I feel like the championship isn't completely done, but close enough it would take something pretty dramatic to happen for Dundee United not to go on and win the league if they did win tonight because Rovers in second there have been on a little bit of a sticky patch at the moment and their title hopes are just dwindling in front of our very eyes how's the season been uh, first game of the season we played well we were one the first game yeah and um, I'd say it's actually gone all right because uh, you were bottom weren't you at we one were point bottom at Christmas time we were bottom of the league then all of a sudden, 17 games unbeaten then, yeah. till the Inverness game, didn't you? I remember there was a few fans wanting Dougie out and all that, and I know he's a good manager. and I, I wanted never him wanted to... them Yeah, he's a good manager. Never wanted he's them turned it around, like say, you had your do. unbeaten run. We got to the quarter-finals of uh, Scottish Cup. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what an achievement that was, yeah. We're seven points off a uh, playoff. I, I, I thought... Do you think you'll we... get playoffs? I don't think so, but if we win, out, if we win tonight, there's a good chance because we're going about four points after Airdrie. But it's mid-table for Morton in a cup uh, quarter-final. That's a pretty good season. Uh, if we finish five, it'll be, a, it'll be a over, and a, over and happy with it because over and then we can start working next season because we've got a striker coming in next season as well. Post interview, you've told me a fact. Uh, Go on, mate. Every time Sam Tooney had a game, uh, we haven't lost. A 2-2 draw, 4-0 win, and a 2-0 against the man in the beginning of the season. So, good luck, Charm. Definitely. Let's keep coming back. Yeah. been a bit of a long season but the end has just kind of crept up on us I feel like how's it been from your perspective yeah it's been a, an enjoyable season obviously at the top of the league um, and I were nearly there with only need a few more results so big game tonight hopefully get three points how's it playing in the Capelow atmosphere it's good I last time we came up a few weeks ago we got a good result and played really well so hopefully do the same tonight and come away with one and you played with the opposition manager at your time uh, at Hamilton how was that for you? What was he like to play with? Yeah, I brilliant to play with. Played with him for five, six years. I was sort of left centre half and he was left wing back. So, known really well. He was a brilliant player and a good manager as well. So, yeah. Are his team's quite hard to play against? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we know what we're going to play against tonight. Morton are, uh, are physical and they, they play quite direct. But um, we dealt with that well last time. So, hopefully, do the same thing. And there'll be a lot of fans here tonight from making their way journey, uh, making the journey down from Dundee, obviously. Have you got a message for them going into the final few games? Yeah, just stick with us, they've been amazing all year. Is there a connection between Peck Zwolle and Greenock Morton? I was watching Fusion Josh's video recently about Peck Zwolle. Don't know what my stomach's going to say about this, but I've got a kebab pie and a coffee down there. I remember the kebab pies being pretty decent last time. A little bit drier than the usual kebab pie, but I'm not actually complaining because it sometimes can get all over you, but... Genuinely, if you're coming to Capolo, get a kebab pie. They're not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm telling you, they're decent. as that away end looks amazing from the dryness of this stand you wouldn't want to be a Dundee United fan standing out there right now This final running now, this is one of four games left for Dundee United and they're 1-0 no up. They've only got to win three to win the league mathematically, that's about Wraith dropping any points. 
they'll be back in the Prem next season. Someone shoot. That's half time. There's a few boos at half time, maybe for the referee from the Morton fans. There was just a little incident over the other end. Um, but yeah, it's been a physical game, as it always is when Morton are involved. And Dundee United have some physical players as well, but they've controlled the game well, they've had the most chances, and they probably deserve to be in front. And yeah, end of the season's coming now, and a win here today, and it'll be looking good for them in the league. Not that long into the second half, it's 3 0 to Dundee United, and a lot of the, uh, well, not a lot, but some of the Morton fans are off already. Oh, I feel like Morton could have had a pen there. I don't know if I quite caught it on time. Tony Watt, he slotted one against Barcelona and he slotted one against Morton here. It's the comeback on. Morton have got one back. Can someone start a petition to get lights on the crane so that you can see it at night? A goal from you today and a real good performance. How did you feel like you did out there? I thought we'd done well. Um, obviously, it's good good to get a goal, always is. Um, but kind of cliche, it doesn't matter who scores. Um, I thought it's not an easy place to come. Um, there's not going to be many teams who come down here and, and score four goals. So I thought we'd done well. Performance was good. Um, and, I, and I think when we go a couple of goals up in the first half, we, we then go and manage the game, obviously, to get a couple of goals early in the second half. We kind of alleviates that pressure that might come, but I thought we were good. There's still some games to go, obviously, but does it feel almost like job done now for the league? No, not at all. Um, I think for us, We've just kind of taken it game by game. Um, nothing really changes in terms of that. We obviously we will have an iron result, so I'm not going to be daft and say that, say that we won't. We'll have an iron result tomorrow, but for us, we need to go and win next week. And, and if it's not done next week, we're going to win the following week. So we obviously want to win it as soon as possible, but our mindset's always been the same. Go and try and win every game and, and go and try and take as many points as possible. It feels like a lot of your games that I've seen this season have been really like hard-fought battles and some of them have been really tight. How nice was it going ahead by four goals today? Was it more comfortable out there on the pitch knowing that you had that big lead? Yeah, like 
I kind of touched on it there to come here and, and score four is unbelievable yeah. but I think when we get a couple early it kind of settles everyone um, and then the fans are with us we're all kind of controlling the game I thought we were excellent at that there's been times in the season where we maybe haven't got that first goal and it's been a bit frustrating at times from us and from folk watching on but I thought when we get that couple early goals it, it, it just settles everyone down Dundee United are now within touching distance of winning the championship I think if Rafe don't win or lose tomorrow and Dundee United win their next home game next weekend I think that mathematically makes them league winners I'll have to double check on that but yeah Dundee United are close Morton their performance they looked like a, they look like a team that know they're not going to go up and know they're probably not going to go down as well maybe their players heads are on holiday a little bit as well um, I don't think too many of the players have contracts going into next season as well so I don't like to speculate on that thing that kind of stuff too much but maybe they're just kind of waiting for the end of the season um, like I said to Chris earlier the Morton fan um, mid-table finish quarter-final of the Scottish Cup that's a pretty good season for Morton um, and a pretty good season as well for Dundee United please subscribe if you aren't already and goodbye <laughs>